Congratulations. You, How does it feel? Is it bittersweet knowing that this really is kind of the beginning of the end? Um, or is it the end of the beginning? I don't know. Um, I, I, th I think it's, I'm proud of the group and I'm proud of the work that we've done and I'm really proud of the impact I think that we've made as just a you know, family drama TV show on NBC to be able to be a conversation, to be something that people look forward to, to be something that almost feels therapeutic to others, to where uh, their lives are changed and impacted by a story, you know, by a, char a group of characters, things like that. People have loved and connected so deeply with Jack over all these seasons. What is something that we're going to see from him in season six that we haven't seen from him yet? Oh, man, uh, that you haven't seen. I, I don't know if it's a you haven't seen, but I think there's just a more consistent... Um, you know, we saw a lot of Jack in the first few seasons. Seasons one, two, and three were very Jack heavy. A lot of a lot of discovery about Jack, and then kind of four and five, you realize that Jack is a part of. He's a character in other people's story. You That's know, a nice way to put it. He's a, he's a character in like. Kevin's story, he's a character in Randall's story, he's a character in Kate's story, and I think that's a nice transference and a good way to kind of hang on to that memory of who he was, is, is the impact he has on his kids and his wife and, and all of that. Um, I'm sure there's still going to be a little bit of discovery for the man, um, but at the same time, I, I kind of enjoy his impact on his kids and where his kids' stories are these days. Do you know how the show wraps up? Yeah. Are you happy with it? Oh, it's wonderful. It's really beautiful. How did you feel when you when you read that script? Did you read that script um, yet? Pieces. pieces. But it's more, it's more like an understanding uh, of what is like coming. Okay. Dan Fogelman's really, really generous with us in terms of uh, giving us information so we know kind of like what's going on, so we know what to expect, so we can kind of do our jobs currently on the material that we have to move forward. So, yeah, it's, it's really beautiful going to cry the most when the director yells cut for that very last time? I don't think there's going to be any dry, on the I dry eye in the house. I think everybody's going to probably be emotional to let go, um, emotional to have accomplished so much. I mean, I've worked in television a long time and to get a show for six years that has the appeal, that has the impact, that has answered so many questions tough questions i think that kind of the world grapples with all the time um we're not afraid to you know kind of take a step to the left and have that conversation directly so i think um yeah i think everybody hopefully is just gonna be very proud yeah, absolutely. uh marvelous mrs mazel we've yeah. seen photos of you i am so excited to watch you on the show what was it like are you romancing midge like what's going on um sure <laughs> um, so that's a yes. Yeah, yeah sure. Oh, yeah, I think I think so. Um, it was honestly it was one of those things. Uh, Amy Sherman Palladino and Dan Palladino, who of course I work with on Gilmore Girls, uh, they they were like, "Hey, Mike, can we have you?" I said, "Absolutely." And so I got a haircut. I had I had Michael Wright's my hair um, hair department head on. This is us. Give me the haircut. Just knowing that, oh, I got to grow it back to this is us at a certain point. Um, but I got that nice, you know late 50s, early 60s haircut, and um, it was a blast. It was a lot of fun. I mean, I've known Rachel for a bit, and being reunited with Dan and Amy and their words is just really wonderful. What can you tell us about your character? Are you a comedian? Are you on the road with her? Um, can you say anything? I don't think I can say anything. I really don't think I can say anything. I just, I just... Uh, just romancing just Midge. Romancing Midge, and I, and I think there, we, we may see more of him. I'll just say that. Yeah. How are all the costumes on that set? So much fun. Oh, man. I, it's, I, to jump into a different character, it was always a blast. You know, To go from Jack and his flannels to that character and um, his turtlenecks and, you know, what else was I wearing? Like, trou wonderful trousers. Um, yeah, it was, it was a lot of fun. Before I let you go, what will you miss most about This Is Us and this series? Is there a person, a part of it? Oh, uh, my crew. Why? Uh, they're there every day. You know, that, that's the thing. I mean, you know, I think a lot of audience, they'll see all of us cast when we're out doing press. You know, I, I'm a little isolated on the set because my character's in the past. So I work with Mandy. Like, at times I'll work with John. But, like, I don't work with Justin's or Sterling or Chrissy or Chris Sullivan or Susan. Well, we never work together. 
so for me, it's mostly the crew, um, you know, our camera department, our art department, our grips and electric, um, our craft services, our caterers, our riggers, you know, the, the guys and gals that are there, like, lead time setting us up, our transportation teams that are actually bringing it around. I'm not going to name every crew member, don't worry. No, but you can if um, you want. No, 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 but, but the thing is, like, you know, they're there every day, and, like, they're really putting so much time and attention and focus into it. And I know that we kind of get a little more of the spotlight, a little more of the glory, but really, I mean, I, I, it goes to the crew. Absolutely, and I think I'm going to miss them the most. They're my scarecrow. Yeah. Chrissy Metz did tease two deaths this season. What do you know about that? Uh, I may or may not be able to confirm or deny something about that. Will it shock us, or is it something that we've sure. seen yeah, coming? Probably not. I, I, sure. <laughs> you guys are also good at your jobs. I know. Seriously. Yeah. And we're asking everyone: New Year's resolution. Um, I'll just be better today. Why do you need to wait till the end of the month? So you're not a big resolution guy. Not a resolution so much as just kind of like you know, like daily, kind of look at yourself and and understand if maybe you're better than you were yesterday. Yeah. Excited for a break for the holidays? Oh, yeah. 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 Any plans? Uh, no. No plans. <laughs> just, just take it easy. Yeah, yeah just take it easy. Been working hard, long. Yeah. I mean, you guys are still filming. Well, like today I was up at 3 o'clock in the morning. So, yeah. And I, I got up. I got to work. Um, I got my beard on. I directed, then acted, then directed. And then, oh, and then we had our crew, uh, our crew uh, gift that the cast puts together for the crew. So I was sorting through all the boxes, organizing, and then getting them all out to the whole crew. And then came here. It was a busy day, all yeah. in a day's and work. Then, and then tomorrow, like, yeah, up early too, so. What did you guys get the crew? Oh, you know, something nice. Something nice? You some, want to tell Something them? very personal. Yeah, no, every, every, every year we put together these uh, uh, crew hoodies that are just very specific to our crew, very inside. You wouldn't know it. Maybe if you, like, look at it on the street, be like, God, that looks so familiar, like something that I know doesn't have a show title on it, nothing like that, but it's all very inclusive of all of our, our crew members. Very meaningful, yeah. Thank you for watching. If you want more extra, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you'll never miss a video.